let's not waste time. We know you were responsible for the Canada House bombing and the other London attacks. Give us the details. The earlier bombings, what are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. But you knew about Zero Day when you contacted us. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Even if that's true, you're far from innocent. You'll remain here until further notice. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are. Dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye.
This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news. Hamish, his contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Frontal lobe again, are we? It would take a few more to leave me truly impaired. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security. Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Could be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. What? Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Unbelievable. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Awfully convenient, isn't it? Televised violence, a rousing speech. We should investigate the attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. The timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad had already scrubbed the area for evidence. They removed every scrap of evidence at an alarmingly fast rate. Doesn't it make you at all suspicious? Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You continue to impress me, Bagley. There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Fine. Leave it to me. Oh, you're 
Reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. of the incident to view the reconstruction. this event will think twice. No one enters the venue without being searched. Thoroughly. Let the protesters protest their rights. We have their safety to think about. Nothing left to chance, Harris. Understand? Be ready to act. Oh. The price of failure is too high. Over. Really fucking bad. Right. I'm taking a look. Get a lockdown on that vehicle. <laughs> CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. This does look like pro terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Well, having access to professional weaponry doesn't narrow down our search much, does it? Let's have a look around. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. So we gave Cass too much credit? He wasn't staging a false threat? Someone actually tried to kill him? What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the number plates as well, Bagley. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. 
Cass must have done something serious to piss this guy off. Better for us if it's dissension in the ranks. Means there's a weakness we can go after. We need to get a better look at the truck from the attack. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. The Tone site? Why in God's name is it there? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed. <laughs> 